Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Samaj of Live Fluently and I am making this video as an update to my three month Mandarin Chinese project that I have going on. I have stated before that about every two weeks I will post an update so it is about time. But before I get started, I would like to talk about why, firstly, why I'm wearing these shades. And it is because I just got a new phone with a camera that's supposed to record in HD. So we'll find out once I, up, once I upload this video. And I have the flash turned on right now. Because one of my light bulbs went out and I have not got a chance to go and get another light bulb. So, it was either wear these shades or be terribly blinded by this extremely bright light. And that's why I'm doing that. So I want to go go ahead and get into it. I have three main things that I would like to share. One is the method that I'm using to help me learn Mandarin Chinese. Uh, the second thing is I would like to share a really, it's, it's definitely interesting to me. Hopefully it'll be interesting to you all. A really fun way to help you learn your numbers in your foreign language. Because when you're really actively learning a language, it can get kind of monotonous and so you just kind of want to break it by doing something a little bit different and this this way that I've been doing I think is extremely fun so hopefully you'll like that and then the third thing is I would like to say that I've had two Skype conversations with a native Chinese speaker thus far and they went surprisingly well definitely a lot better than I expected and I don't have like a video recording that I could show you but my plan is that definitely by the next update I would like to show you a live or well not live but I definitely show you a conversation that I have with a native speaker so now let me go ahead and get into the first thing and probably the I'll probably split this video it'll just be me talking about my method for this this part and then I'll show you the second part the the numbers part I'll show that in another video. Okay, I would like to thank one of my friends that asked me this really, really, really good question that allowed me to think very creatively and find out that I actually have my own personal method of learning foreign languages. And the question was, he asked me, is how do you go about learning a language from scratch? This was a very good question, so I recall on all of my past successes with Spanish and maybe even like a little bit the little tiny success I had with Chinese and, and all of my failures and why the first time going around uh, my Chinese learning wasn't effective and uh, what was effective with my Spanish and through all of this thinking I have realized that I have my own personal way of of learning and I would like to share that with you all now, firstly, I want to say that there are definitely ways that are more effective than others. Like, say, for instance, learning from vocabulary lists. That has been proven to be highly ineffective, and I find that extremely boring. And then there are ways that, that, that really work. So, let's think about it this way. Well, actually, no, even before I get into that. I want to say that when you're just starting out, just starting out in a language, you should get a language learning series or course that is interesting to you. So that could be ASML, that could be Teach Yourself. In my case, it's Chinese Class 101. So that's the very first thing. Get a language learning series that can work for you. Get a good series that can work for you. Second thing is make a compile a list of common questions and phrases that you'll come across as a beginner learning the language questions like where are you from why are you learning this language how long have you been learning this language uh, what's another question that you might come across um, huh I can think of another question oh um what are some of your hobbies? Things of that sort. Questions and phrases that you are almost guaranteed to come across as a beginner. And Moses McCormick's FLR, uh, foreign, le foreign 
learning foreign language road running method flrmethod.com he has courses like that cover those those questions and phrases and all those things that you will are pretty much sure to come across as a beginner so if you want to look in that you could look into that because that's really useful now after you get that you have your learning your learn your resources you have your regular language learning series and then you have a list of compiled a compiled list of language learning questions and phrases that you are likely to come across then how do you go about learning new material okay so this is how this now gets into the method that that I use personally and it's based off of this everybody is engaged by a story I'll give an example everybody has a story that it may the, maybe you were listening to your grandparents your grandparents may have told you a story or have told you stories throughout your life that you really you still remember to this day or maybe you you and your friends you get together and you talk about the things that you all did in the past that were fun or maybe you have a story that you always tell about your brother because he did something that was really funny or something that your mom used to do and that's why I think that learning from content is really useful because even if you don't remember the word for word the story that the stories about your friends word for word you still remember the general concept and that's why I think that it's very important to create stories in a foreign language because it's meaningful content and it's meaningful to you and it's definitely meaningful to you because you created it and that's why I call the story creation method and basically what it is is you taking material from your language learning material so like for me I'll take dialogue from Chinese class 101 and I would mix say maybe lesson one and lesson two and I would mix the sentences and the words to create different sentences and then I would string them together and make a full story out of it now I'm actually going to go into uh, in depth how I do this I'll show you like share my screen with you and show you how I do it but I just want to give an over uh, overview of it right now so I go through for me I go through the first I chunk them in lessons of five so let's say I'm starting from day one I go through lesson one the way they're supposed to be going through how they tell you to go through on the course then I go through lesson two I go through lesson three and when I get all the way up to lesson five then I start to mix and match the phrases and the dialogues from lesson one through five so I may have one sentence from lesson one and two sentences from lesson three and one sentence from lesson four and then a, a word that I substituted from lesson one into lesson five and now I have these all of these different sentences coming together and it really makes you go deep into the language because now you actually have to think okay how can I structure this sentence to make sense how can I take this word out and substitute another word so that this actually makes sense and you can write this out you can talk it out into a voice recorder and then submit it on italki and then have native speak italki.com and have native speakers critique you there's so many ways that you can do this and I think that is really interesting this is something that, that I'm doing now so I would like to now go ahead and show you just a example of how I do this so here we go